what's happening guys it's Lathan from the Grand Family channel on YouTube I have missed you guys so much we've been gone we've been on a vacation I'm so psyched to be back uh, I know it was only like probably a week or so but it felt like it was forever I'm so glad to be back and on the YouTube my hair is a mess I don't know but anyway so we got a few strange addiction videos to watch these things are insane these people are out there and strange 100% for sure uh, just about as strange as eating the Tide Pods but we'll stay off that subject anyway let's go ahead jump in let's go my name is Kevin I'm 27 years old I live in a suburb of Chicago I don't have any broken bones but I'm addicted to putting orthopedic casts on my body I mean is putting a cast on myself I'm perfectly fine perfectly healthy I like the feeling of the cast around me I've done like two full arm casts two full leg casts I've done two full leg casts and an arm cast I've put on so many different casts it's ridiculous he looks like a mummy about casting is it just feels so amazing and so snug and so comfortable it gives me like this high that I just can't really get any other way I mean, I guess it's better than drugs. Casting was definitely in early grade school. At about six or seven years old, I used to steal all of my parents' toilet paper and I used to wrap up my legs in toilet paper to mimic. I guess he just liked walk around school and the teacher's like, oh my gosh, little Chris, whatever your name is, I'm so sorry about your broken arm. And he's like, no, no, I'm fine. It's, it's feeling great. I just love this cast. It makes me feel like I'm wearing a Snuggie all day long. Huh. Let's just keep watching. Make a cast. When I was 12 years old, I broke my arm rollerblading and I got my first cast. I got a lot of okay. from the cast. So time. that's how it started. And, uh, it's just kind of been an ongoing process ever since then to just learn as much as I can about it. I absolutely love the attention I get. I use crutches, I use a scooter, I use a wheelchair, whatever it takes. That's just wrong because I feel like this guy would take advantage of the handicap parking. And that's just not right. A lady, it says, who eats sand. This video has 13 million views. So let's just see. I don't know. I don't. So I don't even like going to the beach and getting the sand on me. Because it is just nasty and but she likes eating it so let's go ahead and see what she has to say Maria. about this I'm 19 years old and I'm addicted to eating sand oh it's crunching I just love the crunch it's always good on top of food like a seasoning or something I've why them, dipped them in sand and ate them and it gave the chip the best crunch that I've ever got in my entire life my favorite combination of sand is when I mix it with gum. It's just like mouth watering. That's not mouth watering. Completely First opposite. Five years ago, when she accidentally got a mouthful of sand at the beach, she was instantly hooked on the crunchy texture. I eat it when I go to my room, when I'm walking to class, when I'm reading a book. Before I go to bed, I put like a pinch in my mouth. When I wake up in the morning, there's still pieces like in my teeth. It's like leftovers. Oh. When I first found out that Bria was eating sand, I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. That's nasty. I'm glad she gets it. This next one kind of reminds me of the people who are eating the Tide Pods right now. Uh... Please, please don't do that. I don't know what to say to this person. But just please don't. Let's go ahead and get into this. and I don't know. These are rough. My name is Gloria. I'm 28 years old. And my addiction is bleach. At least it's not... Well, I guess... I love bleach a lot. 
you don't get it addicted to drinking bleach. I don't consider myself a germaphobe. I'm not afraid of dirt. I'm not afraid of germs. I just like to feel a Just pouring it on her dishes. And... Every day, Gloria cleans her house top to bottom with bleach. Okay, I need to hire her as a maid. Bleach has ruined her clothes and damaged furniture. Whoa, but Gloria yeah. Gloria refuses to stop cleaning with it. And I go and I wipe like, my table down, my stairwell down with the cleaning the bathroom. With the her whole the house smells food. so strong. In the kitchen, I clean my stove with the, my countertop. See, so this girl. part isn't weird. There's been times where I walked in the house and bleach, the bleach smell just slapped me in the face. Boom. Yeah. Gloria's addiction to bleach began seven years ago while she was pregnant with her third child. When I was pregnant, I used to take pieces of tissue and dip, dip them in bleach and take them like pills. But my nutritionist and doctor, they, they made me stop doing it. And, and I thought it was just because I was pregnant and it'll go away. But Gloria's bleach addiction didn't go away. And she's even taken it a step further. Every morning, Gloria now adds bleach to her bath water. Every time I take a shower and or a bath, I have to use bleach. I have to use it. I first run the water, and then I have to take the bleach and I pour it in a Okay. Uh, I feel like that's just really dangerous. It's just not worth. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm really, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm speechless. This is crazy. I mean, this stuff literally just. I really don't know what to say about some of these videos. They are crazy. They're out there. Um, they make me seem really, really ordinary. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Continue to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if y'all want me to do more. I would be more than happy to. Um, we have plenty of more stuff coming down the road. We've got, well... Not going to say. You guys just have to keep watching to find out just what it is. But so glad to be back and excited for more. Thanks. Peace. Yeah.